Hello Aquarius, I'm Susie from the Gift Tour 2 and I'm here to read your cards for the week of the 14th of June so I'm going to get on with it and just ask the universe to throw some cards on the table for Aquarius and give us the energy for Aquarius from the 14th of June till the 20th of June for Aquarius, Aquarius Universe, Angel, Spirit, Guides, what would you like Aquarius to know for the week of the 14th of June, about the week of the 14th of June. Universe Angel Spirit Guides for the Collective and Aquarius for the 14th of June. 14th of June. Angel Spirit Guides for Aquarius. Okay. Angels, what's going on, Aquarius? I'm seeing some cards in here. Angel Spirit Guides Aquarius for the 14th of June, for the week of the 14th of June. What would you like Aquarius to know for the week of the 14th of June? The energy of Aquarius for the 14th. The week of the 14th of June for Aquarius. Aquarius, 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 Three more cards, please, for Aquarius. Three more, one more card, please, for Aquarius, Angel Spirits. Okay, Aquarius. So good. Right, Temperance. Um, you've been very patient. You've waited and waited, and you know that something is alchemizing. So you're sort of putting your toe in the water. You are holding very tightly to your um, foundation, your money. Um, but you're feeling like you're ready to give birth to something new, right? You're the empress here. Or it means that it's like you're waiting to give birth. It's like you're waiting to let go of an old way of life so that you can fully embrace this motherly um, power. She embodies all the queens. She's up in your head. You feel like you're powerful. It's just that down here is like people are gossiping. They're fighting for your platform. You're guarding your, your position and you feel upset with something like a fight or that someone's talked about you behind your back. Um, it could be an ending to a relationship here. Uh, maybe because you're holding very tightly to old ways of doing things. But the Empress doesn't move. She stays in her position. And it's like up here is your, is your mind and your creativity. And there's so many things you want to do. But you feel like you're locked in or imprisoned. Or you feel like you're not in the right space. So you're feeling a bit depressed because you're having to guard your platform all the time. And it might come to the point where you find out maybe about a threesome situation or an end into a relationship or... Um, and or it could be an ending to a job here that you, you finish a job that you might have got promoted in or you're demoted from. So you're given this new commitment in love. It's like you need to let go of something, end something to have this long term commitment. The hierophants here, it could be an establishment, it could be the passing of exam that you love, it could be that you've got the keys to a new house, it's a new commitment to something that you love. This Knight of Wands is coming in, but he's got a vice. He's, he's, he's like juggling up in the air. He's like flying in and out. Could be a fire sign. Um, you're not sure where you stand with this person. You, you're getting committed to something. And someone passionate with lots of, could have a vice like drink, drugs and rock and roll. He's on a flying horse. He's flying in and out of your life. You're keeping things up in the air, but the worm is turning, the wheel is turning in your favour. You're going to get a, a karmic, it could be a karmic person, and the reason they're coming back is to, to um, have a commitment with you. Something is ending between some people. You're patiently waiting, holding this coin holding the foundation holding everything together like an empress your, your whole empire and this is making you feel quite depressed that you're holding ground holding for holding everything waiting to give birth to this it could, it could be like you're heavily pregnant and it's just getting a little bit 
crappy now, right? Uh, and but you've having to hold on, hold on to this this platform, this will, this strength of will. If someone wants your your position, it's like someone could want your um, job. So you, it's like if it's causing heartache, you might have to end it because you're more committed to love and your path than the being uh, promoted or having to to struggle. And um, this Knight of Wands could come in and he's charming, he's really charming and it's fun. And it could be that you might juggle something or you realise this person's still juggling. And But the wheel is slowly turning in your favour. Things are coming to, to that you're going, that the, this juggling is going to turn into, see, you drop some of those coins to maybe have a little bit of fun, stop holding so tightly. So it might be that you need some fun, Aquarius. You're committed to um, love. You're committed to love. This person flies in, could be juggling two people, or you could be juggling two people, or just keeping everything up in the air until this wheel fully turns. And it is the luck is on your side at the end of this week because you've kept you've kept it all together. That's what I'm seeing. Even though you had a fight, even though you struggled your platform, even though you might have lost a job or a relationship, you've committed yourself spiritually to this love. And even though this this flying horse comes in, you can juggle that fun. You can be that as well, and 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 you're gonna get luck. It's it's quite it's it's quite it's it's almost like you need to have a little bit of fun. Angel spirit guides, what do you would you like Aquarius to know? What would you like? It's like you've been waiting too long. I mean, something could come be coming in September. If you are pregnant, it's the pregnancy card. And, you know, you might feel a little bit heavy and that you're having to guard yourself all the time and you feel like tearful within a relationship. There's t Three of Swords is like an ending. It's tears. Something stabbed in the heart. So, and it's like you don't want a promotion. You don't want to join a team. You just want to be committed in love this this knight of wands could come in and say to you look yes i'm running in and out but i do want to commit soon and and i do want to um it's just a bit of fun i just i don't want to promote a bit of fun do you know what i mean <laughs> in case it upsets like a relationship but oh, if there's if you've been struggling and like feel imprisoned and stuck this is a new commitment to something and it might free you up so that you're able to do two things at the same time. It could be like this, just it frees you up. Maybe you don't get this promotion, but it actually frees you up for another commitment. And the wheel turns in your favour at the end of this week. Angels, spirit guides, give us the romance cards. For Aquarius, let go of control issues. Look, four of pentacles, let go of control. That's basically what that is. You've been very patiently trying to just hold in the fort, right? You are the empress. You do embody all the queens. But that can be a little bit lonely and a little bit... Oh, something's got to give and something needs to end. So let's just let go. Allow the situation to unfold naturally. Angels, spirit guides. For Aquarius, what would you like Aquarius to know about the week of the 14th of June? Week of the 14th of June for Aquarius. True love. Okay, this is the romance of a lifetime. So this is commitment to this love here. This is the God-given path. Angels, spirit, go and have fun with, even if you're in a relationship, even if you're pregnant and in a relationship, just have a little bit of fun. It doesn't matter. But, you know, it's, the life totally changes when the baby comes. So just go and have some fun with someone. Spend a little bit of money. Go and get your hair done, I don't know, just the wheel's turning in favour, the luck's coming, money's coming, I wouldn't worry. Wedding, look, this situation involves marriage and playfulness. What did I just say? Aquarius, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit to shine. I think you've been concentrating too much on the future and work and how, you know, and you've imprisoned yourself because you've taken on too, not taken on too much, you are the empress. 
you know, that's a lot of responsibility, isn't it? Having the mother and the lover and the, the empress embodies all the women or the female. Or the, you don't have to be... You could be male and be an empress. You know, you're just pregnant with loads of ideas. It's just you're feeling in prison that you can't move and, and express yourself. But you're already on a platform. So don't let anyone upset you. Just let go of the control issues. Let go of a job if it's not, it's not serving you. You're a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. This is your commitment to your spiritual path. It's like you don't need those things. You don't need uh, someone that's hurt and you're making you feel sad. You don't need to be a, 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 a member of a team where everyone's stabbing you in the back and talking about you. You you are committed to your higher path. Be playful. Go and let go of control issues because the lighter you are, the more helpful you are to people. Nurture. As you nurture a child, you nurture your own inner child. Both activities are important for you right now. There's the mother. Breathe. <sighs> so <laughs> take several deep breaths and exhale slowly to awaken your energy and to release old patterns. It's all about letting go of control. Let go of the fear of, 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 of fear. That's it. Just let... Just let let this commitment, your new path that you already you've given, you've been given a quest to go on, with the hierophant. It's a message. It could be a house, a keys to a house. It could mean you know a love of a home, love of children. Breathe, just breathe slowly. Let go of control issues. Have a little bit of fun. Spend a little bit of money. Do you know what I need? Waterproof mascara. Now the sun's out. I blink and it's on my eyelids. And just go and get one of those. That was my spiritual message. <laughs> Take care of yourself, Aquarius. Sorry for the males out there, but you could do with some waterproof mascara as well. Um, let's go. Let's have some fun. Okay. Speak to you soon. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye.